And I'm a city organizer in Los Angeles. I lead the Echo Park Book Club and the Thrive LA Church Meetup, and I'm excited to be here with you. I had a great time. You know somebody's getting married at the hotel today up on that big 30th roof, so everybody's having fun this weekend. It's good to see you guys. I started my groups because I wanted to create an environment where people could belong, no matter their story, their background, where they come from, whether their race, their gender, their ethnicity, their age, all of that, that people could come together and learn from each other and grow together, because I believe that every person has dignity, value, and worth, uh, no matter who they are, and every story matters. My story is that growing up, I went to like 14 different schools, and so every year, sometimes multiple times a year, I was the new kid, and I would show up in a place, and maybe you felt like this, maybe you're still recovering from your junior high scars, and you show up in a place, and you've got to try to fit in, and you've got to try to belong, and everybody acts a certain way, or dresses a certain way, or talks a certain way, and you feel like, man, if I have value, if I have worth, I've got to act a certain way. And we believe this lie uh, that, that we're not valuable. But people do matter, and we want to live in a world where people matter. And there are those times along my journey where people have gone out of their way to invite me in, to include me, to let me be me. And that's the story of my groups and my experience of what I've wanted to get out of the world. And I hope and I think that probably you gather people together because you care about people as well because we want to just treat every person right because every story matters. But you know what? As we're doing this, it's, it's not just right thing to do. It's also a way to grow a group. You see, people will come back to your group if they feel like they belong, if they feel like they have a place. I remember... Years ago, somebody came to an event I was hosting, and there was a lot of young people, and this lady was older, and she just said, you know, I, you're great, I like what you're doing, but I just don't feel like I, I fit in here, like I belong here. There's, I'm different from this group, I'm, I'm never going to be able to fit in. I try to learn from those lessons years later, now with my book club, somebody shows up, says the exact same thing, but you know what they said? They said, but you know, I'm just looking for friends, and I'm worried here that I'm not going to find that. So what I did was I said, you know what? We come from different life stages and different backgrounds and different stories, but why don't my wife and I have you over for dinner and let me hear your story. Let me get to know you as a friend and connect you to people in your group. And you know what? She came back and we've seen that kind of thing over and over again. And so what you wanna do in any group, what we all wanna do, I think, is build a culture of inclusivity. But that culture starts with you as the leader. Have you ever been in a group or you've met a leader and they start saying, everybody in my group complains and nobody in my group is friendly. And how often have you wondered like, are you friendly? Yes. Do, you, like, do you complain? And so a lot of times if we wanna create a culture in our group where people feel like they're valued, it has to start with us. And we have to be the type of people who make people feel welcome, who let people tell their story and who show people their value, which comes to the last point, which I'll wrap up with, is we can't confuse our positions with our posture. We have a position as a leader where we gotta be the boss. One time somebody told me, you act like you're in charge. That didn't sound like a compliment. <laughs> and sometimes we have really deep convictions about the world, philosophy, religion, or whatever, but we gotta sit around the table with people, look people in the eye, and hear their story. And if we do that, we'll create that world worth living in. Thanks, guys.